What's up guys, welcome back to another video and in this video let's talk about uh, gestures in your Flutter apps. Uh, in any app, gestures are widely used for allowing user interaction with the app in a more friendly way. That is, uh, for instance, you are unlocking your screen with a simple gesture, right? A small pattern or something or you are sliding your finger across the screen to unlock it. That's a simple gesture, okay? So inside the uh, application, there will be a small listener that will be listening for all the gestures you make on the screen of the application and then it will handle those gestures accordingly. That's exactly what a gesture, de gesture detector or gesture in an application means, in an application means. So how are we going to bring this level of user interaction, bring these gestures inside our flutter apps? That's the main question, right? So let's talk about that today. Uh, there are a wide variety of gestures. You can simply tap on the application. You can tap and hold on a, on a particular component in the application. You can double tap on a particular component in the application. You can simply uh, drag, click and drag, drag something across the uh, screen of the application. There are a lot of stuff like this, right? Uh, let's start with some basic things, okay? For instance, a button is a simple widget. You tap on a button, something happens, right? Say for instance, uh, Flutter provides a lot of buttons. Uh, it provides and it provides a clear way to bring in an outline button, a raised button, a flat button, a floating action button, stuff like that. But say for instance, you want to create a button that's not provided by uh, a default uh, design template in Flutter. Okay. Uh, say for instance, you want to create an oval shape shaped button or a big button, a large sized oval shaped button or something like that. So uh, in that case, what you can do is you can simply create a, a, a widget of that particular uh, dimensions that you want and the shape that you want and then make that widget behave as a button. How can you make do that? You just have to uh, see whether the user taps on that particular widget that's getting rendered on the screen and whenever the user taps on that, you need to uh, invoke a handler function. That's it, right? Let's see how to do that. First of all, uh, I have a blank application here, a new application. This will do nothing as you can see here. And uh, inside the body center, here what I'll do is I'll add a gesture detector, child. Uh, uh, gesture detector. On tap. You see the number of gestures available here. See, a large amount of gestures. On pan and scale won't work at the same time, I think. Anyway, we'll use on tap first. On tap, and then uh, it's a function. So I'll simply do a print uh, click. Okay, nothing, I'm just printing some message on the console. And then uh, I'll use a child. Child will be a container. Uh, Container here is where I can specify whatever stuff that I want. Height, height is some um, seventy. With hundred. Okay, and uh, what else I can add? A lot of other stuff. Padding, uh, edge inserts. Not all. Uh, Ten point zero. Okay, sorry. And uh, I'll add a decoration box. Decoration. If you are a person who bought my course, if you are a buyer of the course, you will understand this a bit better since we discussed about all these button decorations and all these stuff in our uh, course in a particular video. Uh, if you haven't bought my course, there is a description in the, I mean, there's a link in the description below. Use that uh, and make use of uh, the coupon code provided along with it as well. Uh, it's a course about uh, basic flutter guys that's it just starting to learn flutter from scratch anyway let's move on with enough of the shameless plug that was <laughs> inserted cleverly into this video border radius uh, we'll give a, we'll make it circular border radius dot circular uh, radius i'll simply give uh, 15 okay so that it's more rounded along the edges and then uh, inside this container itself i need to add a child child I'll simply do uh, text click me cool right now we have a very simple gesture detector 
what this does is that uh, it will first we are creating a container this container we have specified certain dimensions and uh, it will uh, you know we have also rounded off the edges of that particular uh, small container box and uh, uh, upon tapping this container it should print clicked on the console that's it let's see if this works as we expected i'm running this all right uh, we get a nice little button at the center but since we didn't specify any color, I think it's not uh, that much visible, right? We'll specify a color. Color start uh, light uh, blue accent. Wow, cool. Now we get a nice button on the uh, center of the screen, right? Now if I tap this, it should show uh, it should print clicked on the uh, debug console. Let's try it, try this out. I'm tapping it and it's showing clicked. So uh, our custom uh, container here works as a button, right? We'll maybe wait. Cool. Now we have our own uh, custom bu button that is available for us, right? And we are able to make this container work as a button using the on tap uh, gesture. We can also do a lot of other stuff guys on tap is that right similarly on double tap you can use in this case if you just double tap this it will show clicked if you single tap nothing will happen but if you double tap it will show clicked see now it works as a uh, button that will trigger click uh, that will trigger a print function whenever there is a double tap similarly you can use other uh, gestures as well If I click tap on it, nothing happens. If I double tap on it, nothing happens. But if I tap and hold it, it's printing clicked, right? So uh, yeah, this is exactly my point, guys. This, is, but if you notice, if you, I don't know how many of you noticed, there was no that uh, uh, ripple effect wasn't there, right? That's because uh, wait, I'll show you how to bring in that ripple effect as well, maybe. Uh, we'll remove this so that our ripple effect is more prone. No, we'll first try it out. Instead of gesture detector, use an inkwell. Okay, inkwell is something like similar to a gesture detector, but it will provide. Wait, I'll show you. Rather than me talking about it, and we'll switch this back to tap. Now, if I tap on this. The ripple effect is there but uh, it's not visible right now wait uh, i'll remove this so that our ripple effect gets is more pronounced now if i tap on this the ripple effect you will observe that see uh, on an emulator it doesn't do much justice but if you look at this on a mobile device you can see that the ripple effect is more uh, pronounced in that uh, so yeah guys this is how uh, inkwell is similar to a gesture detector but it doesn't have that many gestures that is the uh, drag and hold uh, i mean hold and drag on vertical drag on pan up on scale down all those gestures won't be there it will there will be just the tap uh, double tap long press tap so only tap tap down tap uh, cancel tap related uh, gestures will be there av available with inkwell so yeah guys, uh, you can uh, bring in a lot of gestures using such gesture detectors inside your Flutter applications. Now you might wonder why I am showing such a basic uh, demo here, right? Earlier, if you remember, my previous video was on animations and I am doing a basic stuff on gestures as well. So going forth in our videos, we'll start to move into uh, more cool animations. That is more advanced stuff that you can do combining these two in your uh, Flutter applications to produce really cool uh, looking UI. Uh, in your applications so yeah uh, as a base i need to start from somewhere right that's why i made a basic animation video and then i'm making this basic gesture detector video now i hope you understood how to bring that interactivity inside your flutter applications we'll uh, going forth we'll uh, take this concept and then apply it along with animations to pro produce uh, cool looking ui uh, so yeah guys uh, that's it i guess that's what i wanted to show you guys in this video today so yeah, hit like if you like this video guys, uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, click on the bell notifications icon if you uh, like what I'm doing on this channel and if you want to watch more cool Flutter videos like this. 
and i'll uh, talk to you guys in my next video bye